Hi everybody, um, I would like to test some aluminium plates now. This is just 3 millimeter thick, 6082 grade aluminium. Uh, I know it's not much, it's very thin, but I'm just wondering how strong it really is. I'll start with uh, 22 and see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot it with 22. Uh, not the best. That's a bullet. <laughs> Keep that. Okay, so as we can see, this one actually stopped, but it cracked the plate on the back. The other one penetrated. So, even from a pistol with a long barrel, which is the bullet, was here. <laughs> So, it's weak, but I have other plans for it anyway, uh, so we'll see how it will go in the future. <laughs> Let's go 5mm. Let's see what 5mm can do. Okay, so this is 5mm uh, millimeter thick aluminum, uh, 6082 as well. And we're gonna shoot it with uh, 22. See how it goes. Maybe I can even try to. Okay. Stops. Let's try another one. I'm gonna move back. Hmm. This one is not so deep. The first one is much, much deeper. But uh, far from penetration. So 22 will be stopped by 5 millimeter aluminum. Let's go for uh, 9 millimeter. Okay, so it's time for 9 mil. And let's hit it somewhere. Oh wow, it stopped. It stopped 9 mil. Full metal jacket. That's nice. I have to put it back together. I'm gonna make another shot with 9 mil to make sure that it actually will stop. Okay, so another shot with 9 millimeter. Still over there, maybe. Mm. 
That's an awesome gun, by the way. Whoa! Look at that. Come on. Uh, one. That's a bullet. So, it stopped. No pen. Five millimeter aluminum is quite strong. But I think if you shoot it from a long barrel, from a carbine or something like that, it will have enough speed to punch through. But from a pistol, it's quite good. Let's try Tokarev. See what happens. 5mm aluminum against Tokarev. <laughs> well, the Tokarev did not throw away the plate on the floor and the bullet is there you can see it it did not penetrate or maybe it did yes it did shit I have to need more light look at that the bullet is there well it's not the bullet it's just a the jacket of a bullet. The lead from inside the bullet flew through. So, well, it penetrated. Well, that's a funny thing. Let me get a better light. Okay, so this is 10 millimeter thick aluminum 6082 as well. And, uh, well, I'm gonna skip 22. Uh, I'm gonna go for uh, 9mm and uh, see the effect. Step back a bit and uh... Mm. Sick. Okay. So that's a nine millimeter focus, and the dent is really come on. It's not deep. Maybe a millimeter? Nothing like five millimeter. Really. It's quite a good result. On the back there is just a little tiny dent. It's not really a dent, it's just a... You can see that you hit over there, but that's it. I'm gonna make another shot. Let's go to the bench. Okay, so that's the effect. 9mm on a 10mm 6082 aluminum. Small dent, maybe a millimeter deep on the back. You can see those two bulges over here and over here. But uh, yeah, the 10 millimeter aluminium can take 9 mil easy. So let's try Tokarev. So the Tokarev over here. Uh, on 
the back, yeah, there is much oh, bigger, I don't know, you can feel it, but the, the hole is, I don't know, maybe 3-4 millimeter deep, 3 millimeter, not even half, no, yeah, something like that, far from, from, it's not half of the thickness, far from it, so, I'm gonna go for uh, PPSH, so let's see what higher velocity Tokar F round will do to this plate. Uh, 10 millimeter aluminum, PPSH, I'll uh, right here. Right, so Tokarev stopped easily, but the same round from a carbine PPSH 41 penetrated. The jacket is still inside, you can see the jacket. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the force of that round from the carbine is quite powerful can do a lot of damage lucky for us there's not many people running around with them they might have a pistol but <laughs> not the carbine for self-defense of course so it will stop TT but not PPSH um, just for fun, I'm gonna shoot it with the M1 carbine. It will penetrate, but I wanna see how it will look like. Uh, before before M1, I'm gonna shoot it with a 44 Magnum, which I forgot. So uh, this one will be 44 Magnum. Okay, so 44 Magnum is over here. I almost put my finger there. Well, it went through. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 44 Magnum is powerful. Let's go for M1 now. Right, uh, I must stop the video on M1 carbine on the range so I'm just gonna repeat it that's the hole after M1 obviously it penetrated um, as expected really but uh, any faster round will go through aluminum um, standard handguns like 9mm Tokarev from a handgun and I think uh, 45 ACP or 357 Magnum from a revolver would be stopped as well so um, maybe if I get some extra calibers I'll, I'll shoot it again but uh, that plate is pretty much uh, done. There's no point shooting it with a uh, AK 762 by 39 or uh, 223. This is the rounds will go through easy. If 44 Magnum soft point went through, then <laughs> everything else will as well. So uh, that's it for now, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, thank you. Bye.